just waiting to make a turn. The victim of a chain reaction crash trapped between two cars. The impact so intense, it knocked her out of her shoes. Now, five months later, all the evidence of that deadly accident is gone. In its place tonight, a tribute on two wheels. Before pedaling in memory of their friend, stay together. They gathered outside the University of Pittsburgh, a place Susan Hicks loved. We all miss her very much. Five months ago, Susan was struck and killed just a mile and a half from her home. We're here today to just honor her and actually get her home. The accident happened October 23rd, 2015 at the corner of Forbes and Belfield. Susan was trying to make a left-hand turn and was struck from behind, the victim of a chain reaction crash. And so tonight, they ride for Susan. Unanimous, this intersection has got to be fixed. Like I've almost been hit several times around there. Jason Ferrente biked more than 3,000 miles last year. It's not a safe intersection. So, like, it would be nice if the university and the city did something about it to make it a little bit safer to actually make a proper left turn. Other riders point to progress. It seems that motorists are becoming a little bit more uh, bike friendly, especially in the last couple years. Jason Hawken rider credits the city for expanding bike lanes, but urges more has to be done to prevent another tragedy. It's all about sharing the roads, really. We're all, we're all the same, trying to get to uh, different places, but, uh, but safely. Her friends traveled from Posfer Hall in Oakland, where she, Susan worked, to the friendship section of the city where Susan lived. They also noted there have been no charges filed against the driver who they say caused the crash that killed her.